Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. 100% should have recorded this, um, but I was trying to do some editing on the side. I didn't even have the recorder open. I was just editing while splashing, and we just got another Jekyll Random. And as you can see from the inventory, holy crap, have we got a lot of stamps. This has been so, so good for for the uh, the, the stamp potions. Um, I don't think I really need to do this, because this is going to be the last one we actually need. I'm just going to do this. This is how I take out one at a time. Um, this is going to be the last one we need. So, one more Jekyll random, and we're done, because we've got four here, and five here. One more will make it ten. Uh, we would already have it if I didn't accidentally drink one of the doses, but that is fine. Honestly, I get so many while splashing, it is actually ridiculous. Um, I don't know how many I had before this, I think I had four, so I've gained five just from splashing so far. It's absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, I was saying in an earlier clip that I might just commit to this until I finish off the pool in the house. I'm going to do that. Honestly, at this rate, I'm going to have it before uh, the weekend even comes around. It's currently Thursday, so I've got two more days, well, and a bit, um, to uh, to get the last one, which I think is quite likely of happening. Uh, I get them quite frequently. I get a lot of randoms while doing this, so it's it's all well and good. Uh, I didn't put the compost back, but that's fine. I don't need invent space for this anyway. The only time I'm going to need invent space is when I'm farming, and, uh, well, I'll be able to store them back then. Um, yeah, so I would have got that on record, honestly, but I just wanted to quickly get the random before it disappeared. My recorder wasn't open, I apologise, but you can see here your reward is one stamp potion. So we are absolutely stacked. One more, and we can finish the pool in the house, and this is going to be amazing, because not only does it mean that we're finally done with this grind, uh, but it also means I don't have to worry about the death storage, and, most importantly, we get more invent space, because I don't have to carry a torso around me anymore. Um, I was thinking of maybe doing a few other things and clearing up some other stuff to try and get some more invent space, but I'll probably go over that once I'm finished with uh, making the pool in the house, and we'll check what we've got in the death storage and stuff. I've got a whole load of herbs, so I'm not really sure what I want to do with these. I can't actually, like, use them because I can't note potions, um, so I have to keep the herbs noted. It's very annoying. Um, see, I, I'm not sure if I really want to keep the cadentines. Uh, because super defenses are all well and good, but I don't think I'll be using them for raids. I think I'll probably just use attack and strength um, and not waste an event space on defense. Mainly because I always feel like defense potions don't really help me that much. I seem to get hit regardless. So, uh, yeah, and also my defense uh, in my, my armor is going to be pretty poor. So I don't think defense bonus is going to matter too much. I think it's going to be more reliant on prayers than it will stats. So we may well go through the Cadentines or Cadentines or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I also want to use up the Lanterdimes, but that requires 72 Herb Lore, so that would mean doing the farming and Herb Lore grind before doing Red Dragons, which means I'm putting Red Dragons off further, but the whole point would be I'd get to clear up more Invent Space to do Red Dragons better. Um, I haven't fully committed to it, like I said, once I finish splashing I will go through everything we have. But I am just really happy to be getting on with this grind of these potions. It looks amazing to have five of these on me, and we've got the final Torstal here. Just waiting for the last jackal now. Well, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get it on video. Um, I didn't have the recorder up at the time, and by the time I managed to get the recorder done, I think I'd locked out, so I've just logged back in. Uh, gone back to splashing on the chickens. But, the announcement I have is that if you look at the inventory, you'll see we now have six potions. There are four in the death storage, which can only mean one thing. We're done. We, uh, we finally have our 10 potions, we can finally build the pool and the house, and this was one of the most daunting grinds I had, um, because of the inventory space management that it would cause. Um, but now, we're done, and honestly, splashing has been so good for this. I think, in total, I've had 6 from splashing and 4 from elsewhere, it might even be 7, I can't quite remember. Um, but the majority of potions have come from the last two weeks of splashing, which is absolutely insane. Uh, the randoms I get here are so nice. And they're also super easy to, to not miss, well, except for that one jackal random that disappeared when I walked four tiles. But we won't talk about that, it doesn't matter, we've got ourselves all the potions right now. 
Um, we have just over 2,000 casts left to use. Uh, I'm probably going to be splashing this out, uh, and then we'll finish off here, and we can go ahead and make the pool. I'm still deciding on whether I want to go back to Red Dragons, or if I want to go and get more runes and just grind out 90 magic in one go. Uh, the main reason for this is just because I'm kind of feeling good with splashing right now, and getting the 90 done would mean I don't waste any more insult heads. Uh, I'd also clear up some invent space because I wouldn't have to carry anything to do with this. And then also, um, I, I'm doing farming in the meantime, so I'll be able to finish farming all the Harrowlanders and then make them into potions, which gets some herbal experience. It should get us a herbal level, actually. I think I worked out it will. But that's the main reason why I don't really want to go back to Red Dragons just yet. Um, but, I mean, I, I was literally at Red Dragons last weekend, so even if I miss this weekend, it's only one weekend I've missed of Red Dragons, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but the most important thing here is that we do have all the potions now. We can go ahead and build the pool in the house, and even if for some reason I accidentally drink a dose, uh, I have a spare three doses in the death storage right now, um, because of unknown reasons. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so that also explains why we have an extra torso in the death storage, it's because uh, nature implings dropped them in twos, and naturally I accidentally drank a dose, so we wasted a torso earlier on. So we've got one left randomly, which is probably going to get dropped. Um, I don't really need it for anything. I guess I could get another stand potion and use it, but I really don't want to be looking out for jackals anymore. It's a, a horrible thing to be doing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish up here, and I'll see you guys once I am out of runes. Okay, so as you guys can see, we no longer have any runes. We finished up here entirely. Obviously, I was AFK in it, so I didn't get it on record. Um, but I finished it up last night, and then I did a farm run, and I'm just doing a farm run on the way back now as we go to the death storage. Uh, we do have a total of, I think this is 388, I can't really see, like the numbers, like they blend in with the colours because I'm colourblind, so it's kind of hard for me to see, but I think it's 388 herbs. Um, I'm going to get a few more from this as well, and then we'll clear out the death storage, well, what we need from it. Uh, I do really need to sort of juggle this invent, I don't know why I have a pickaxe and a hammer to be honest, I don't, really don't need them. Um, but yeah, we're going to get be getting the stuff to upgrade the pool in the house, I hope I could do some one inventory without having to juggle with death storage that would be really nice um, but what I plan to do after that is basically store the other stuff in death storage that I don't need um, if I do go back to reds I'll be storing this entire armor set um, in death storage so that that way if I do not die at red dragons I can come back to splashing super easy without having to go and get all the gear again it really doesn't save money uh, because it's 25k to use the death storage but it's more for convenience than it is for money's sake. Also, I still got this strange fruit watch I was meant to use, but let's go ahead and look in the dev storage. Uh, as you can see, we've got four potions here. We've got six potions here. We have ten in total. That is absolutely beautiful. Uh, we also got the three doses here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to calculate what I need, and uh, we'll sort out our inventory. And then we can head over to the POH and finally upgrade this pool into a, an energy restoration pool. So apparently all I need to upgrade it is just the 10 potions. Obviously I'm going to need a hammer and a saw as well, which is why I re-picked up the hammer that I dropped in the previous clip, and I'll get a saw from the house. I mean, the hammer didn't really matter. I could have just got another one from the POH, but nonetheless, uh, I went and picked it back up. Uh, we're going to go grab ourselves a saw. I need to go into build mode, actually, and we will be able to finally upgrade this pool. It's going to be really, really nice. Uh, where is my workshop? Uh, I moved the entire house around, so I'm a bit confused at the moment. It is over here. We should have ourselves a tool rack. This one, I believe, gives the saw. There we go. Let's go over to the pool of restoration. We should be able to upgrade it to the pool of revitalization. That is the one. Let's go ahead and click that. And there we go. That is our energy pool done. And now we can drink that and get all of our energy back. This is going to be so huge. But when I get around to training construction, I mean, I'm going to rearrange the house. Don't worry, it's not going to be a complete mess like this. Uh, but I will be able to regenerate uh, energy every single trip. And I think that means I'll never run out of energy while doing construction, which is going to speed up the XP so much. Um, the idea of having to walk while doing construction was really horrible, which is why I definitely wanted to get this done before I worked on construction. But now that we're done, um, this is amazing. Uh, we got ourselves an energy pool. Also, I looked it up. I can get the next tier. Uh, it's with prayer potions, but I need 80 construction for that. 
But let's be real here. Uh, pro potions aren't hard for me to get. I have, I think, like 600 Ranars. I'm really not all that bothered about making prayer potions. So whenever I get the level for that, I'll make that. But the, the, the stamp pool was the one that really daunted me. Uh, but now we're past that. We've got nothing else to worry about. Now it's pretty much just flat grinds. Uh, we do want to get another four levels to get 90 magic, which is going to be done through splashing still. Um, Red Dragon grind is also going to exist. I am still indecided as to which one I want to do. I think I might spend the weekend doing uh, splashing, to be honest. I kind of just want to grind this all the way out to 90. I may well actually just buy the entire amount of runes to get to 90 and then just completely blitz it out until I'm entirely done. Uh, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Because that way I'm not missing out on insult heads. That's the biggest concern for me right now is that if I go back to Red Dragons for a couple of days, I'll get like six insult heads and I can't use them. And that's a waste of like 10k prayer XP and I'd rather not do that, you know. Um, so yeah, we'll probably go and just buy all of the runes we need. That means this stack's probably going to drop below 10 mil, I reckon. Um, but it's fine. Once we go back to reds, it'll go back up and back up. It'll be totally fine. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I think I need about 50 mil coins to do Night Nine Construction, which again is another one of those things that's kind of like scary. Because Red Dragons take a long time to kill. Like I said, it's going to take like 400 hours to actually do the Red Dragon grind. But the more space that I can clear up, the easier it is to do the grind, and therefore the quicker I can get the kills to come in. Uh, also, I could Alk this Rune Dagger. Uh, you know what, I'm going to do it. I was going to go set to the shop, but I might as well Alk it. It's only one Nature Rune. And like I said before, I'm going to need to get more nature runes anyway, which is another thing that I'm going to have to do at some point is grind out more gnats. So there will be some of that content coming up. I don't know how I want to do it. Um, I could kill temple spiders. I could kill undead druids. I could kill solver lizards. I could kill giant frogs. I really don't know. I think that, I think the big frogs are the fastest method. I think they're like 90 nature runes an hour if I can do it really well. So it probably will end up being them. But for now, I think I'm just going to head over to Arceus. We're going to restock on runes. And uh, we're pretty much just going to blitz out the entirety of Nighty Magic, um, which will be really nice because then we can uh, do the reanimation spells. And I've been looking forward to doing that quite a lot. Um, I've always wanted to try this kind of stuff. It's just a bit annoying that, you know, our high alchemy tablets or reanimate tablets don't exist because otherwise I would just do it in the Forfos dungeon where the dragons are as soon as I get the head because that would be a way nice way of doing it. But unfortunately, because I have to use high alchemy, I can't do both in the same place because I'll be on the wrong spell book. But that is just, that's the way it is. Uh, I really wish they'd add the tablets, but, you know, they probably never will. So, uh, we're going to head over to the Arceus shop. We're going to get ourselves these runes. This could take a while to buy. But once we've got the runes, we'll go back to the chickens, I guess. And uh, we'll, we'll go back to splashing them. It also means that I can get the farming done. I may, well, I think this is empty, actually. Because um, I only took out the Harrowlander seeds. Right, yeah, so I may well get the other seeds out and start growing them. I won't be using them for Herblore, but, like, the Irix qualms and whatnot uh, can go into the stacks that I have. Uh, and that would just mean that I don't have to farm them later, basically. Um, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, we're going to go get ourselves the runes, and I'll probably see you guys with some magical progress. So this is going to be the last uh, 10 packs I need to buy. Um, I attempted to do it absolutely perfectly, and uh, I completely messed up and actually went over. Although, technically, I was trying to get it just before the level. This is going to go just past the level. Uh, I wanted to have 143,000 casts. I ended up with 144,000 casts because I can't count, apparently. Uh, but if we do this, this should put us 288,000 air runes, and that is going to be done. There we go. We have 144,000 fire strikes to cast. That actually took way longer than I thought it would to buy, and also our cash stack is now out of the green again but don't worry uh, once we finish the magic i'll be going back to dragons we'll get it back into the green cash stack like i said we need 50 mil anyway for construction and uh, after we've done construction oh, well, we can kiss that cash stack goodbye but that'll be the last time i need to invest a lot of money into something so for now uh we got ourselves plenty of casts i guess it's back to magic this will get us all the way to 90 once these are all used up so i'm never gonna have to buy any runes like this ever again and uh, we'll be able to just train out our magic very easily now. I believe my farm run is ready though, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that. But once that's done, uh, we'll be back to splashing. And like I said, I'll probably try and just farm up all of the seeds I've got in the meantime. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be able to get ourselves plenty of herbs as well. So let's get to it. Okay, another update for Mr. Splashy Man over here. We are currently at 88 magic with 257, 258k until 89. 
We've got ourselves 66.8k cast left. But as you can see, we've got ourselves one more Haralander seed, which I'm going to quickly go and plant. And that's going to mean that all of our Haralanders are grown. Well, except for the ones that are currently planted, obviously. But that means we would have planted all of the Haralander seeds. We've got ourselves 500-ish uh, Haralanders over here. Probably make it about 550 by the end of this. And that's going to be all of that grown. And uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous clip, because bearing in mind these clips are quite far apart. I've just been mindlessly splashing for the last few days. Uh, the plan is going to be that I am actually going to use up all the herbs that I've got at some point. I will do loads of herb lore with obviously level permitting because there are going to be some that I cannot use. But we are going to go through all of the irrits, all of the qualms. Um, do I have any calentines? Yeah, I've got calentines here. We'll be using all of them as well. If we can manage to get to 68, then I'll be able to boost and make these into ranging potions. Um, I'll have to kill under druids for the wines of Zamorak, but the reason I'm doing this is so that I don't have herbs on me, but what I will have is seeds uh, in the seed box, but that's going to take up less space in the inventory, so I can prioritize working on red dragons. We'll be keeping the noted Ranar weeds, because obviously they are prayer potions, and I want to have as many of them as absolutely possibly can. I'm going to need more, than, more of these than anything else. Um, and also, we're going to have lantern time, because I won't be able to use them just yet. I need to be 72 to boost to use them. Uh, they are magic potions and they're going to take a while to get to uh, but at some point maybe during the red dragon grind when I take a break I might do a whole bunch of farming contracts and farming and we'll get a load more herbs and do some more herb lore I might take like a couple of weeks and spend some time doing that but um, that will be a brief sidetrack from red dragons that's going to allow us to get more herbal levels and well just generally more supplies because if I get more and more seeds I'm going to be keeping hold of them in the seed box which is entirely empty right now because they're all in here so we're going to have irrit seeds, uh, dwarf weed seeds, qualm seeds, uh, limpwort seeds and I'm trying to think, uh, probably Cadentines and Ranars, I reckon, are the seeds that I'm going to hold on to. Although I don't think it really matters about holding on to Ranars, because I have a Ranar stack, and I'm not going to be getting rid of that anytime soon. So maybe I can put a different seed in there, uh, maybe Land Dimes, I don't know. I'm not planning on using magic potions for raids, I think it's kind of inefficient uh, to have an extra potion there for that. It's not really worth my time. Um, using Toe Flax to make brews is actually impossible because I cannot get crushed bird's nest which is really annoying because I can get the bird's nest but I cannot crush them I do not have access to a pestle and water so I cannot make brews uh, the only ways I can get brews in like the surrounding areas is from the grubby chest uh, and then of course you can make Xerix aids it within chambers so that's like the only option I have for that uh, snapdragons is another one I'm probably not going to have restores I think I spoke about this before uh, having two stacks of prayer restoring herbs just seems a bit pointless when I've got a massive stack of Ranar ones. So I'll primarily just be using any Snapdragon seeds I get on Herblore XP. Uh, that will be the main focus for that. But for now, uh, we have finished up with all this farming. So I think the next thing to do is to essentially just continue splashing for the next couple of days and finish off 90 magic. That is going to take... Uh, well, let's see. I'm getting about 13k XP an hour so we're looking at about 20 hours give or take uh, that's not too bad actually that is not too bad at all so let's get back to it it's time for some more splashing